Hey, good morning, you guys. Um, I am hair prepping today. You know how you do prep? Well, I'm hair prepping. So when I take my hair out, I slept in this. I'll have big ringlets. If you guys want to see any of that, go ahead and click the links below. I have a ton of videos on beauty, fashion, hair, and makeup, and fitness. So let's get right into this. This is going to be kind of hard, kind of hardcore. So you're going to be sweating. So get ready. I have my sweatband on here because I know I'm going to need it. Some water, get a mat, get weights. I'm going to use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, go ahead and just use any heavy weights you have. A lot of squatting, a lot of like lifting weights. We're going to get busy here, but we'll be out here in 25 minutes and you can go and enjoy your day. So let's get started. Oh, you're going to need a chair or a stool, something really sturdy to elevate your legs on. <laughs> yes. Okay. See you in a minute. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's just move those hips side to side. Yes, we are warming up. I got my little knots in here. I'm looking like Shrek, but trust me, when I take them out, my hair is going to be cute, girl. Okay, so my hips have been bothering me a lot, and I feel like in the last year, I've had a lot of injuries, and yeah, because I'm going to be 50. Because I'm going to be 50, and that's what happens, right? So I'm just trying to be a little bit more precautious with my warm-ups. So if you guys are my age, or actually any age, we're just going to go side to side here. This is all for hips and inner thighs here. If you guys are my age, close to 50 or over 40, you know, you just really want to be extra, extra careful because the body is going through a lot. It's been through a lot, right? Okay. So let's keep going here. Stretch it out from side to side. Now it's coming to like a nice lunge. We're going to stretch out this whole inner thigh, turn that toe up. And come down, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. How are you guys doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Now there's been some helicopters. I don't know what's going on in the world today, but you know it's always crazy. So you might hear a little disturbances. I'll try and I can hear it right now. I'll try and get rid of that extra noise for you guys in the editing process. Stretch out that other one. Take big deep breaths. We are gonna get like right into this. This is gonna be a bad boy. This is gonna be a bad boy video. No joke, no lie. Okay, turn that. Toe up to the ceiling, stretch it out, feel a nice, good, long stretch in here. We're going to start with jumping squats. Why did I want to start with this? Because I'm crazy, but yeah. Um, now you're feeling a little bit more loose. Just kind of move everything side to side, stretch it out. Let's do some shrugs for the shoulders while we're marching. Oh, let's do some big circles. Big circles. Oh, feels really, really, really good. And now bring those arms up. All the way around. Other way. That feels really good to get a lot of mobility there in those arms and those shoulders because that definitely, we start losing that in our 40s and our 50s, right? And then little jumps, little jogging in place, getting our heart ready and kind of all our body ready for this workout. Gonna let's move forward and back a little bit. You guys have your water? You guys go pee? I hope so. All right. Okay. Slow it down again. It's a quick warm up. My favorite class. Those hands together. Straight forward. Push. Push those palms like they're trying to touch the uh, wall on the other side of the room. Really as forward as you can. You're stretching the entire hamstring. Those are going to be a lot of work. Now clasp them behind you. Stretch out that shoulder, chest, pec muscles, shoulders, neck. Yes. Push it out. Feels extra good. Come down. How low can you go? It does not matter to me. I just want you to try. Wherever it feels good, or you feel like you're getting the maximum stretch, that's where I'm happy for you. Scoot your feet together, parallel, get them close together. Changes the stretch a little bit. You'll feel it further down into your calves. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let those arms go. Can they go right behind the butt? Ah. Can they come down? Yes, if they can. Fabulous if they can't. Not a big deal. Just let's hang out here for a little bit for five. Four, three, two, one, bend, bend, like you're sitting in a chair. 
Stay down there for a little bit. Arms up. Parallel. How are you guys doing? Bring them all the way up. Now this is a really big stretch. Open out those hands, those fingers. Like as wide as you can get. I know your hands generally don't do this, so this is a great stretch. Bring those shoulders up even further. Look up. Don't tweak that neck. Down. Hands on the ground. Let's get a nice good back bend here. <sighs> Hamstring stretch. Roll up. Inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice. Solo. Let's go. Okay. We are starting with jumping squats. So we're going to do 20. I'm going to get really low to the ground. God help me. Now we're going to squat here. One, two for 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Get low. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Those are not easy, but we love them. Go ahead and grab your stool. I'll give you a little bit of a time there. And we're going to do lunge backs with this chair. What this chair does is makes you work a little bit harder. Okay, we're going to do 20 on each side for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, breathe, 1, hold it for 10, 9, Eight, seven, little ones, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, toe up. We're coming out for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. You can do whatever you want with your hands, okay? 13, 12, 11, 10. I know it's burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Hold it down there. And we're going to pulse it for 10. Nine. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, ooh, three, two, one. Great job. Bend over that chair for a second. Stretch it out. That felt good, right? Move that bench out of the way. Back to those. Jumping squats. This time, we're going to turn it out. So we're parallel. We're going to turn it out for 20. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stay down there for 10, 9, 2, 1, hold it, then we're going to go parallel and out. I know, 5, uh, 4, come on you guys, 3, uh, 2, 1, good job. Now you're going to need to do a quad stretch. That hurt. <laughs> that was a killer. We're working those quads, glutes, hamstrings, whole upper, I mean lower body, and cardio. Cardio, cardio. Taking a break, getting that bench back. All right. Now we're going to alternating squats. So, Sit down, come up, that's one, two, three, four, five, when you get up there, squeeze it, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 10 more, I know. 10, yeah. nine, eight, you can kick it if you want. Seven, six, sometimes that makes it more fun. Five, easier to get through. Four, three, uh, two, one. Bring it down. Now, you want to make it harder, add some weights. You'll be working harder. Okay, now I'm working my other leg, my weaker leg. One leg is going to be weaker than the other. It's okay. So, help me. Come on, universe. One, I get off balance. Two, with this leg. Three, so I have to focus. Four, five, six. Whoa, seven, I got a wall next to me, luckily. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. Kick it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. It's hard. Five. Taking everything for for me to continue. So three, you guys can do it. Two, one more, one more. Nice and slow. Back down. Oh, stretch it out again. Arms forward on that bench. Really, really feel the shoulder. Favorite stretch here. Do this a lot in ballet. Move forward. Come down. Ah. Push up. Ah. Back to that nice shoulder stretch. Good job, move that. Bench away. We're doing jumping jacks for 20 regular, then reverse. Catch your breath a little bit, right into 20 jumping jacks. 20. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now we're gonna do reverse jumping jacks. So it's like that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're a lot harder. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Grab some water. Grab some water. I just saw a goblet overhead squats. Say what? Oh shit. Okay. We can, we can do this. Grab a heavy weight, kettlebell. This is 15 pounds. Grab it. Come down to a squat. If it's a weight, fine. Sit down in the chair. Overhead. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How are you guys doing? Ten, eleven, we're doing twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh my god, oh my god, 19, 20, stay down for a five, four, three, Two and one, five, four, three, two and one. Yes. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm grabbing eight weights, eight pound weights. You can grab fives, whatever you want. 
We're gonna do a lunge back. Regular old friendly lunge back. Like that. And we're gonna add a bicep. Bicep curl if you don't want to. You don't have to, but please do. Here we go. One, two, three, we're doing 20. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have five more. Here we go. It's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Catch your breath. Told you it was going to be hard. Hey, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right about now because it helps me keep bringing these workout videos for free. I need more subscribers though to make that happen. So subscribe, share, like it, comment, all those things. Commenting, liking, subscribe help me a ton. All right, we're back to jumping jacks. 20 regular, 20 back, let's go. 20, 19. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do reverse for 20, 19. Seven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Okay. We're gonna do my favorite workout that I did last week. Totally killed me and made me want to vomit a little bit, but I figured, yes, why not? <laughs> We're gonna get down to a squat. Get that weight in between you for biceps for 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, nine, come on, eight, seven, I can't talk, four, everything, it takes everything, two, one more, one more, one more, one, that takes everything to get through, good job guys, all right, go on the floor, go on the floor, you guys, I'm dying. Uh, let's get straight into this. We're gonna need those weights. So first thing we're gonna do is a good old plank, my BFF, the plank. Swear to God, change my body over 40, you gotta do them. Okay, just get a whole tear in plank. We're gonna alternate with a row. So 20, the other side, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, Try not to move, that's the challenge. Try not to shift your weight from left to right. It's going to happen a little bit, but try your best to keep it nice and straight. I lost count, so six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that plank for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Move those weights out of the way. 
How you guys doing? I'm like, see ya, boy. <laughs> bye, boy, bye. Wow. All right. Oh my God, it's coming back at me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a spider plank. These kick my ass every time, but shit, after 45, I had to work a lot harder to get my midsection. These did the damn job. So, nice plank. Your butt's not up. You're not tucked under, just straight. You're not hunching your shoulders, just kind of get them neutral. And we're just gonna hit the elbow to the knee for 20. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, love these, 15, 14, 13, obliques, here we go, 10, nine, okay, I took a break, because they're so hard, eight, seven, six, five, four, ah, three, break, two, one. Now, if you guys didn't need a break, well, freaking amazing, <laughs> okay. So our last exercise, grab that stool. Get that little bad boy right there. Get in a, get your feet up there. And now, just holding this plank like this, it's a whole nother ball game. I'm just gonna come in for 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, 6, you can do it, you guys, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, oh my god, I almost died on that one, I was like, I can't do this for you guys, I cannot, how are you going to use me for motivation if I can't even make through that? But you know what? I'm just an ordinary person and I totally struggle to do these workouts. And let me tell you, I don't want to work out every day. Why would I? Well, goddamn, I don't want to work out ever, really. <laughs> but I love the health benefits and what happens when you do work out. You feel amazing. You feel younger. You have so much more energy. I'm a mom. I'm a role model. I got to be around for a while for my daughter. You know what I mean? I got to stay healthy for everybody who loves me. Okay? So... I want to keep on giving back you guys. Thank you so much. I have over 90, getting close to 100 free videos for women. Over 30, 40, 50, over 20, I don't care your age. I have beauty, fashion, motivational, inspirational videos for women who want to change their life, be the best version of themselves. With that being said, I'm going to do a video later on what my hair looks like. When I'm done with this, I'm doing an eyeshadow look with some like baked bronzy colors, super cute. And I really love it for a light eye if you have green or blue eyes, even brown eyes, mm, it pops. Anyway, thank you guys so much for working out with me. Again, get some water, cool off. <sighs> Mop off. <sighs> love you guys. Bye. One other thing that I do wanna let you know is you can improve your life no matter what your age is. You can go for your dreams no matter what stage of your life you're in. And I keep hearing people say, well, I can't. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I can't possibly change now. It's too late for me. My life is pretty much like over. I got to stay with this job. I got to stay in this apartment. My relationship sucks, but who else is going to want me? First of all, I'm alone right now. And let me tell you something. I like it. Now, yeah, sure. I want some companionship now and then. But that's not the same as like having somebody in your life all the time. So sometimes it's okay to take a break and be alone. Why do people feel like they have to have a partner? And why do women feel like they're not like a beautiful, fulfilled woman if they don't have a man in their life or partner in their life? You know, I feel I'm more sexy and beautiful and confident single than I've ever felt in a relationship. Now. Not to say that's not gonna change. When I'm in a relationship with an amazing, incredible, beautiful, kind man who's on my wavelength and we're both going up, 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 I think I will still be able to feel this way. But I think sometimes just taking some time alone to get to know yourself and love yourself without anybody else is essential too.
You know what I mean?